your upcoming opponent, also another LFA veteran, Kevin uh, Natividad. Mm-hmm. Was he someone that you you noticed fighting on the regional scene? Um, I knew about him, but he had um, quite a few less fights than me at the beginning, and then I think he started getting some up. Um, but I think I knew I knew about him a little bit. I think we tried to fight him once, and I don't know I had that fell out fell through or something. But um, after I left LFA, I kind of kept a little bit of eye on it, but. I was just so focused on everybody there. Yeah. And I feel like um, the pandemic is definitely the reason he's in the UFC right now. I mean, he's a tough dude. Um, he's going to come ready to fight. You know, you see some of these guys pulled in maybe a little earlier than they would have been that are coming and bringing the fight to guys who've been in the UFC before. So mm-hmm. I'm not underestimating in that way. But um, I definitely think that I had to go through a little more of a process. You know, I had to win the LFA belt, um, a five-round fight against Adrian Giannis, who just is coming off a nasty knockout on the contender series you know i had to go through the contender series do that whole fight a fight that i tore my groin in um you know and had to keep fighting through that you know already in the apex so i know i've been in then two fights one in canada where everybody was i mean the crowd was not liking me there you know so i've been drugged through the fire you know especially after this last fight so um I think that's going to uh, pay dividends in this in this fight with Kevin. When you look at Kevin, what is your breakdown of his skill set? Uh, I think it's a pretty similar skill set to mine. You know, mm-hmm. I know that um, he's a grappler. I know originally he's a grappler. He has good uh, wrestling, wrestling defense, and good a good ground game. And I know that he has heavy hands. You know, he likes to he likes to throw and he likes to be uh, bring the fight. So I think it's a real fan friendly fight. You know, I think it's going to be just two gorillas just going out there and um, and throwing down. And, you know, I think the best man's going to win. And I do think that he has a little less experience than I do. Um, he hasn't fought the guys that I fought. He has a couple good wins. But um, my I think my guys' records are uh, far exceed his opponents. And um, I know he's going to be ready to fight. You know, Hawaiian and uh, Filipino, those, those dudes are tough. But I think once uh, late those late rounds start coming in and he starts seeing that I'm still in his face um, 100%, that's when that's when he's gonna make a mistake that could cost him. So do you see a, a late finish in this fight coming up? I do. All right. All right. Miles John, another uh, LFA veteran. Has he been on the radar for some time? He at least at least for me, um, we I was mentioned. His name was mentioned to me like two years ago um, for an LFA fight in Texas. Um, Honestly, I don't know what happened to it. I, I know we were supposed to, or at least I know I accepted to fight him, but um, I don't know if uh, my manager at the time, or probably not him, but either my coach or his coach or manager um, said no to it, but it didn't go through. And uh, I already looked him up a little bit at the time, not a whole lot. And uh, to be honest, I didn't realize he was until the UFC until they until uh they told me i was gonna fight him i was like oh shoot he's in the ufc and then i saw i fought another guy from arizona so yeah i mean we were ready we were ready for this matchup for a while like i have a feeling he's gonna come in pretty hard uh like heavy strike like heavy hands and try to set up that takedown make me overcommit my punches and set up my takedowns and stuff so i got a couple things here and there that we've been practicing for that my brother is a uh, we not just my brother but we got a lot of like pretty high level wrestlers at our camp not just wrestlers too but they're all like pretty high level jujitsu guys too so i feel like i feel like pretty good for this one we, we, we got some uh guys who were getting ready for the 2020 olympics for boxing too so it's probably my toughest but the most confident I've been going into a camp, going into a fight. How do you envision your UFC debut playing out? How do you see yourself getting your first win in the in the octagon? To be honest, like it's funny. Like I, I see myself. I, I've had so many knockouts this past, like uh, this past, you know, my whole professional career, and for some reason. I can envision a knockout, but I can also envision some spectacular submission that I haven't busted out since my amateur days. Mm-hmm. Uh, either one, you know, as like either one, as long as it gets us 50 G's, I, I just think it's going to be the fight of my life. You know what I mean? But I mean, that's what I'm expecting. Every fight in the UFC that I'm going to have is going to be the fight of my life. So I'm except I'm expecting 
a spectacular victory in terms of my ground game, actually. <laughs> I, I don't know. Nobody thinks I'm a ground guy for some reason. Like, I see everybody talking about it. Like, oh, he's a he's like strikers, Kevin Natividad. And I'm just like, striker. I look at my coach. I'm just like, hey, coach, look, I'm a striker now. He's just like, you're always a striker. I'm just like, I, don't know I mean, I guess so. <laughs> I think they just look at the the record. And they don't mm-hmm. really go deeper into, like, what you've been through in the past, you know what I mean? And, and the where you have trained and what you have trained. They just look at the, oh, knockout, knockout, knockout. Oh, okay, this guy's a striker. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, too. <laughs> I mean, if you look back, especially, I mean, I keep bringing up my amateur record, but, like, I bring up my amateur record because, like, I felt like I fought anyone that the guys in Hawaii gave me. Um, I had, like... Uh, I don't know, and most of them are by submission. And I used nothing but my ground game back then, and I haven't forgotten about it. (laughs) That's why I think it's just so funny. 